guys welcome back to another video as you know my name is Ture and today I'm going to be doing something a little different I'm going to be reacting to Sam Hunt's new album Southside for this channel I never want to just eliminate an album just because um, you guys might not think I like country I actually love country and my love for country didn't start until I was an adult before if you would have asked me as a teen do I like country I would be like no uh. If you haven't listened to his first album, I feel like this is going to be completely different than that. Just because I've heard Body Like a Back Row and it does not sound like his first album whatsoever. Sam Hunt, let's do this. It's so weird hearing him sing, like, consistently. He has a beautiful tone to his voice, though. Take some girls out of my phone. Yeah, you should probably take those girls out of your phone. I take 2016 and I would give it back to you. What you do? Like, was it bae? Was it really bae? This is, ugh, this is messy. That, again, that voice. Oh my God, could wake me up in the morning, Jesus. I'm just wondering why this was an opener. Unless you're setting a tone for the entire album. Is this album full of regrets? I feel like this should have been towards the middle of the album. You ever just be in a room where you're observing something happening and you're just like, <laughs> that's me. That's me during this song because I just feel like it's so personal. Is it really an opening? If I listen to the rest of the song, maybe something, something change in like the last chorus or something like that. Nope, didn't redeem itself. I'm not going to heart that one. Um, I feel like it was misplaced a little bit in the album. I just feel like it could have been better. Ooh! We going old school. I'm excited. That one, this one's automatically getting a heart. I already know. Like, this is a chorus I can actually get into and actually vibe. This. Woo! I like that track. It reminds me of, like, Single for the Summer. I can hum along, I can dance to, I can, you know. I still wish it was the first track, but we got that, we get it, we get it. That yes. Sound. Hey. Okay. Right in the chorus. So loud. Like. That chorus hit. That chorus slaps. I just love the way this sounds. Like sonically, it sounds so good. But this sounds like something I would listen to. So, hard it. Yeah. Track four, Young Ones. Oh my god! <laughs> heart it. We hearten it. I haven't even heard the chorus of it and we hearten this. Mm. I knew it was coming in. Oh. If you all... Let me tell you. If she wants a cheap hotel, y'all ain't making out at all. Lyricism, yes. Ooh. I, I feel like this is one of those songs that you, it's meant to be like young ones. Even the sound and production feels like you're hearing it for the very first time. 
aka me. I just love that feeling when I listen to a song and it actually sounds like the actual title of the song. Um, weird. <laughs> like that love it need more of it let's go to the next track oh wait i know this track hey you her number hey 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 i just hey <laughs> He said, I can turn her jeans inside out. I don't need no help. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually paid attention to the lyrics, and that's why I'm chuckling. <laughs> you already know how I love a I already love that song, so like heart it. I'm reading that right, right? That ain't rip. What ain't beautiful? Oh no. Make on all that makeup. Steal your roommate's dress. Yes! Album one! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Proceed. Um, uh, sorry, never mind. We're gonna put a heart to it because, like, I already love when he does this. Call your friend a slut. Leaving the party early. The guy who never looked at you. I would never call my friend a slut. Like, I have called her a hoe, but not a slut. Facts. <laughs> Being treated like shit is very comfortable. I I don't know if this is a this is a trend, but like, for me, that's normal. Like, for when somebody actually is nice to me, I'm like, what do you want? But uh, he he he's certainly right. Right, you should treat yourself better. There's a woman's voice on this. Who are you? Is it featuring someone? You can fly to Turks and Caicos in the seats you can't afford. Some you know, it's funny to me because literally sometimes I will be listening to his first album and I'll have my headphones in and he'll say something funny and I just smile and somebody's like, why are you smiling? And I'm like, Sam Hunt told me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's actually here. Uh, you can do Moral of the track, you can do better. So why are you lowering your standards? You can do better. So do better. I have to take that advice too, so it's not just for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> track seven, let it down. Let what down? Let what down? I know it's gonna hurt, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Truth. Oh, that, <laughs> that was, whoa. That was out of sorts a little bit, but here we are. Um, wow. Come on, baby, let it down, let it down, let it down, on down the line. Show me a little mercy before we break this heart back. Nope. That's, I'm not feeling that one. And plus, it's kind of a contradiction of the first track. Because you let somebody down, right? You made you you made her cry, but you're telling somebody else to let it down. I'm just saying, but no, that's not a song for me. That is not a song. There is too much. No, I, I will finish it, but I I can tell you now, I do not like it. Lay it down. What? What? <laughs> I feel like the track is way too busy for something that's like let it down, which is I, I'm guessing it's having the the person he's talking about let their guard down and be like, okay, but like, this is not a track for me. There's too many things wrong.
I don't like that sound. I don't, I don't find it necessary. It's making me mad. No, to Ray, Sam, I am, do not like it. Mm -mm, I would not take that sound anywhere. I will not take it. Mm -mm. Nope, that's not a song for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He's like, you got your whole life to let me down. Honey, all because she let you down tonight. Maybe that's a lesson that you need to get your shit together. Shit. Together. Just, mm, this song, mm -mm, it's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Nope. Hate to the no. We, no. Whoo. Yikes! Uh, track eight, Downtown's Dead. Ooh! That like has some Taylor Swift vibes in there. Downtown's Dead without you. Downtown's Dead. That, that. Mmm, we might be back. We might be back. That transition was interesting from from the first chorus back to the verses. Come on, let me go back. I don't know if I like the transition there. Might be the only one, but I don't like it. What am I doing with my life? Same. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Same. Okay, not a bad song. I just feel like there needs to be some improvements for it. But it's getting a heart. Um, if it came on my Pandora or Spotify and I was cleaning my room, I wouldn't skip it. Track nine, Nothing Lasts Forever. Ooh, heart, already got heart. Ooh, ooh, what was it? What was that? What was that song for the first album? It, like fixing your hair, seeing me, it's um, break up in a small town, you know, like when she was like leaving her car in front of somebody else's house, um, so he would think that she was there and like, what girls are you dating? What? Wait, isn't he married? He's married, right? He settled down. Now I have to look this up. Hold on. Yeah, he's married. Okay. Got it. He writes a lot of stories about women, but like... Mm, that course just... Mm. I don't like the meaning of this song. I really don't. He's basically saying that nothing lasts forever, so we should just go be together because, like, but yet you guys really don't seem to, like, see eye to eye. Maybe I'm not drunk enough for the song. <laughs> I like the chorus, though, and that's why it's getting a heart. I don't like the message necessarily of the song. I would rather this connection that you're trying to make of nothing lasts forever, let's do this, die. Just let it die, die. All right, track 10, Sitting With You. Your spotless record was probably in jeopardy. I think I know what this song's about. I never felt like I was sitting with you. Always felt like I could talk to God in the morning. I knew that I would end up with you. Always felt like I could talk to God in the morning. Gaby. 
pretty sure that was a very interesting conversation you had with God about, uh, what happened. Um, <laughs> I think he actually has a really good point about sex. It's sex. I, I, and me being grown up in a church as well, that was like hail to the no. You keep your legs closed. Going back to what I was saying, sex is not a bad thing. And I think when you're raised in a church, you fear sex, but then you start to like feel things for other people. And that's when like it becomes a secret and it becomes like such a, a shameful thing. It shouldn't be a shameful thing. Literally how I came here. Um, but I feel like the more we shy away from it, the more it's like, it, it just becomes uncomfortable for everybody. So just let a girl know that it is okay. And I'm telling you, it's okay. <laughs> I should be a safe sex teacher. <laughs> it's the boobs. Once you touch the boobs, it just all goes downhill from there. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> Ooh. That was beautiful. Good for you. Breaking up was easy in the 90s. Was it though? I hate when that happens. When they getting over you faster than you getting over them. It's just, I don't know why it's a race, but like, no. <laughs> hey! Yes! Oh, I can't wait to put my headphones on and dance on my bed. It's gonna happen, and I'm so excited. This is, mmm. I, I, I like this vibe. I, I really, really like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, I like that track. Getting a heart. Uh, last track on this album, track 12, Drinking Too Much. I believe I actually listened to this already. But um, we gonna listen to it again. I'm sorry I named the album Montevallo. And I'm sorry you want your privacy. And you got nothing to say to me. But I wish you'd let me pay off your student loans for these songs you gave to me. See, I like this style. I wish 2016 was somewhere towards the end of this album. Was this an apology album? Because it didn't sound like an apology album. Maybe 2016 should have been a sync. But yeah, you should have paid off her student loan. That shit. <laughs> Again, it, uh, songs like that that are so personal, it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's like, oh, I lied to her and apologized. I hope you've apologized. And maybe that doesn't make up for all the crap that maybe happened between you two, but like, try. You changed your number and moved, and this is the only way I can reach you. So wherever you are, turn it up and let what if she never listened to this song? Oh, this situation is sticky. It's sticky. Ooh, are we gonna have another outro like speakers? Another beautiful outro. Ah. Okay, we have finished the album. Final thoughts. Um, there were only two songs I didn't like. 2016 and let it down just because I feel like 2016 is in the wrong spot and I also think that uh let it down is a mess it's you know, I don't I don't I don't like the flow of it I don't like the no it's no um other than that um 10 out of 12 songs is pretty good so uh hey 
take a listen down below. Let a girl know, did you like the album? Was there some song where you were like, mm? did you feel like he contradicted himself? Because I feel like he did that a lot. I will see you guys later. Um, like this video and go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Something different this week, but I, I like to venture off and actually try new things. So, here we are. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.